Welcome to the training on asking additional questions. One of the more powerful training sessions that we will do at this point. And this is more of an advanced skill. So let's just start with a quote. The quality of your life is determined by the questions that you ask. Great guy, Tony Robbins. So let's take a look at this. You know, if we, you know, what is the quality of the questions that you're asking? Okay. So what are the benefits of asking better questions, not only of the prospects, of yourself, of your family, of your friends, of everybody you talk to? Well, better conversations, obviously, that's great. You get better answers, we like that. Better understanding of things, better understanding of yourself, better understanding of the prospects, better understanding of your relationships, right? To know where they're coming from to seek clarification of where people are coming from, to understand exactly what people want. Asking more questions gives you a better understanding, right? When you ask more questions, you're much more engaging, have much more fulfilling conversations, and you get to connect a lot deeper when you ask better questions, okay? So questions control focus. And when you ask questions of others, it directs their focus, right? Where's your focus right now? I'd like you to focus on a pink elephant. Do you see the pink elephant in your mind? Right? <laughs> so where did I just take you? So how well do you control your own focus? Controlling yourself. How well can you maintain control over someone else's focus with questions? So, you know, Mike Ferry, the godfather of prospecting, says a script is simply a series of questions that guides the prospect to the desired end result. Whoa, that's it. It's a series of questions. So if questions control focus, and if you tell me, Patrick, you know, the, the clients control the conversation, then I'd say, well, are you asking good questions, right? Very powerful, okay? So you, you can ask questions to yourself, and this is kind of important. So what's the first question you should ask yourself every day? What should you ask yourself before your prospecting session? What question should you ask before the next phone call? Is this going to be my next appointment? Is this going to be the next person I discover motivation from? Is this going to be my next commission check? Those are some good questions. What are some of the important questions you need to be asking in your relationships? What about your customers? What about your boss? Some of you need to be asking better questions of your boss to establish a deeper relationship with them. Here's some great questions you should start your day or finish your day with. What am I grateful for today? What do I love about my life? What would make today a great day? How can I show my love today? What's one thing I can do to make today, right? To, uh, what can I do today that would make my life better? Those are some pretty good questions to be asking and to be answering, don't you think? Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of the different types of questions. So first is the open-ended questions, which are all about starting conversations. You know, open-ended uh, questions, they create conversation. You know, the, the who questions. Hey, who do you know that's interested in buying or selling? Right, that's opening up a conversation, right? You know, what do you think about prices in today's market? It's opening up a conversation. When do you plan on moving? Opening up the conversation. Where would you move next? Right? How did you happen to pick this area? It's a conversation. Why are you considering moving there? Right? So open-ended, who, what, when, where, why, how, they're very conversational. Okay? And those are really important skill sets for us as great question askers. Then there's the close-ended questions, which are all about either a yes or a no answer. 
are you interested in selling your home? Yes or no, right? Um, do you want to move? Yes or no. Do you still want to sell your home? Yes or no. Do you know anyone that's thinking of moving? Yes or no. See, these can stop a conversation from continuing. If you ask a yes or a no questions, this is when you get a lot of reflex no responses, right? Even people that are interested in selling will just tell you no because you've asked them a yes, no ended question, right? We got to be careful of those. There's also some uh, what we also refer to as tie down questions. So let me share with you what these look like. These are statements with what I refer to as a tie down. They're all about getting agreement or keeping attention. Do you know what I mean? So do you know what I mean was a tie down to keep your attention and is really a statement followed by a tie down. So let me share. Uh, knowing your home value is important. That's a statement. And then I add in right that turns it into a question. That's what we call a tie down. Okay. You want to earn more money, right? Statement, tie down, right? Right. Sound good, tie down. Isn't that what you want? Tie down. Do you know what I mean? Tie down. So those are some other examples of some tie downs that we use. So using too many of these can become very irritating to the other person. Be careful. So you can see there's the three types of questions, the open ended, which are all about opening up the conversation. Then there's the yes, no, which gets shorter, right? Do you want to know the value of your home? Yes, no. And then there's the statement followed by a tie down, which turns it into a question. Knowing your home's value is important, right? <laughs> okay. So you can see there's three types of questions that we use that I use in the in a lot of my scripts. You, you should be familiar with these. So there's another thing called the yes set close. So using yes answer questions and to use them specifically. So you want the most money when you sell your home, right? Yes. It's important to know the value of your home. Do you agree? Yes. If we could send you the most accurate information for free, would you, you would want it, right? Yes. See, it's three yeses in a row. Pretty powerful. So if you string a series of yes answer questions together, it's called a yes set. Very, very powerful. Now, you can also use the no answer questions also. And this is pretty powerful. You don't want to ask the wrong questions, do you? No. Right? Do you want to miss lots of op you don't do you want to miss lots of opportunities while prospecting? No. <laughs> so people like to say no. People love saying no, especially when you're prospecting. So it's good to give them a couple no answer questions, especially in the beginning. Right? Because it kind of gives them the opportunity to say no. We also use, I mean, you know, I use one, I think it's, you know, is that unreasonable? It's a great little, is that unreasonable? And they say, well, no. See, great. So then let's set an appointment, right? On our script, we want to treat each question as an entire conversation. So I want you to be looking at the script and each question much more conversationally versus just ask the question, repeat, approve, go to the next question, repeat, approve, go to the next question, repeat, approve, go to the next question, right? So, you know, in when we get more advanced, it's really about opening up these, these really big quest conversations. So when you ask the first question that's well designed, what's the typical response, right? People answer with general or aloof Aloof means just they kind of don't give you the full answer or short responses. Or sometimes people even do what we refer to as a white lie. I mean, they lie, right? And that's most of the time because they don't feel comfortable yet. 
So it's pretty natural, even when you ask a very, really a great, well-designed question, it's typical that someone gives you kind of these general loop or short responses or even white lie. And it's always mostly just because they're just not comfortable yet, right? But sometimes these responses are actually, they're hints that they are interested. So, right, it, therefore it's natural to ask another related question if you're interested and actually knowing the answer to the first question, right? It's a sign of engagement that you ask another question to clarify and to open it up. So all I'm saying is it's natural. You asked one of the great questions on the script, super logical. You and I both agree this is the best question that's available. You ask it and they give you a general or aloof response. And you're like, shoot, now what? Right? So that it's just natural that you would ask another related question because you're interested in finding out what's really going on. That's a sign of being an engaging and great communicator. <clears throat> so here's your assignment. The assignment is write three additional questions for each question on the script. Now, that will expand the conversation from the first question. Your goal is to be able to ask three additional questions that are related and create a deeper and more meaningful conversation. This is why this is an advanced strategy. Okay, this is where you guys were going to now be much more conversational. Okay, so let's take a look how this works. So one of the questions on the script, did you see the for sale sign? And I just kind of use some general questions here. So what's three additional questions that would engage this conversation? Well, did you see the for sale sign? Well, no, I didn't. Well, do you know the street, Banana Street? Well, sure. Well, are you familiar with, you know, the on the corner there's blah, 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 blah? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, do you pay attention to homes for sale in your community? Right? Did you see the for sale sign? No, I didn't. Okay, well, no problem. Well, do you know that street? Sure. Well, do you pay attention to homes for sale in the community? Oh, yeah, I look all the time. Oh, great. Do you see that those three additional questions kind of opened up this whole conversation around did you see the sale for sale sign? Good example. So, the question, do you have any questions about prices in the neighborhood or the market? So what's three additional questions? So if they say, well, not really, right? Well, do you know the prices are up? Yeah, I've, I've heard that. Well, what have you heard about prices in the neighborhood? Notice what is an open-ended question, right? Did you know prices are going up? Yes, no answer. What have you heard about prices in the neighborhood? Now they got to talk. Well, you know, we've heard that prices are going up, this, that, and the other. Okay. Well, how are you how are you keeping up to date with the market prices? Notice how is an open-ended. How are you doing it? Right? So how are you keeping up to date on well, you know what I do is I check Zillow, I do this, I do that, I stop, I open houses. Oh, that's great. So notice where we are today or now, but if we would have just asked that first question, do you have any questions about prices in the neighborhood, what's going on in the market? And they're like, oh, not really. And we just stopped there and we just went to the next question on the script. But if we ask those three additional questions, now we get way deeper. So you can see the skill of how this really creates impact. Do you know anyone else that's thinking of selling or moving into the neighborhood? Nope, I don't. Well, how long have you lived here? 10 years. Where are you from? Well, we moved from LA. LA, that's great. Do you talk to a lot of your neighbors or do you just keep to yourself? Oh, no, I just kind of keep to myself. Okay, well, that makes sense. Right? Oh, no, I talk to everybody. Right, that's great. Do you see that this one question opened up with these three an entire deeper conversation? Let's take a look at this. How long have you lived here? Right, which is on the script. And they say, well, about 10 years. 10 years, gosh, that's a long time. Well, how did you happen to pick this area? Right, do you have a lot of family in the area? Right, 
Do you like this neighborhood? Do you like the community? Do you see how just the, we take the one question on the script? There's so many more questions that we can ask to open this whole thing up and to be so much more conversational. All of you want to be more conversational. It's not about you getting off the script. It's really about you asking additional engaging questions to open this whole thing up. Right? Would you like a home evaluation via email or a visit? I'm just paraphrasing. You know, you know the question on the script. And they say yes or no. Is that because you already know what's happening in the area? Well, we like to keep ourselves up to date. Where do you get the information about the market? Are you happy about what's happening with prices? Right? Just three additional questions that are related to the first one that just open up the whole thing to take it deeper. So if you sold this home, where would you go next? Now, this is one of the best questions and best conversations that exist in real estate. Okay, if you sold this home, where would you go next? If you were to ever move, where would you move to next, right? I ask this question in a million different ways, right? So let's look. Would you stay in the area or move out? A lot of you know that's one of my favorite questions, right? If you sold this home, would you stay in the area or move out? But there's still more, right? Do you have an area in mind? Do you shop online or do you like to drive around neighborhoods? Have you seen anything that you liked? A lot of you know I love that question. What does your spouse think, right? What city? What neighborhoods? What has to happen for you to be able to make this move? Have you already started planning? Have you already found an agent? See how that one question led to an entire conversation for me to discover more and find out what else is going on. So the question is for you is how great are how good are you with asking questions? Have you really realized there's multiple different question asking strategies as well as when I talked about the scripts are designed to be conversational, it's really about you really learning how to ask more and more and more questions, not just the ones on the script, but those ones on the script are really the openers to great conversations. So I hope you enjoyed. So your assignment is to really write out three to five additional questions for all of the questions on the script. Oh, looks like I got one more here. What's the ideal time frame for you to move? Great question, isn't it? So if you could sell your home for a great price, how quickly would you ideally like to make the transition? What are some of the things that would slow you down from making this move? Are there any consequences if you don't make this move before the end of the year? See, three additional questions off that one ideal uh, question. I think that's the last one. It is. So I hope you enjoyed this training session on asking questions, the power of questions, and really how to dig deeper. Thank you so much. Look forward to having you on the next training session.